Hi, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, and welcome to video two in our series on the Laser Imprints Go Uno. In this video, we're going to show you how to run all Nina brand non-oil t-shirt transfer papers through the Laser Imprints Go Uno. We're going to cover six papers in our Nina product line. Technoprint 4O, Laser One Opaque, Image Clip Laser Light, Image Clip Concert T, Image Clip Laser Dark, and Mugs and More. For each paper, we'll show you how it loads into the printer, the media weight settings that you need to select to make sure that you get a good fuser bond with the toner to the page, and then we'll show you the output results. For demonstration purposes, we're going to use this artwork provided by Great Dane Graphics given to us at the SGIA show. And for all samples, we will produce them on 11 by 17 transfers. So now that we've got the criteria set up, let's go ahead and get started with the first paper. Let's go ahead and start with the first paper we're going to demonstrate, which is Nina Technoprint 4.0. This is a single sheet transfer paper for applying to white or light colored cotton or cotton polyester blend fabrics. You can identify Technoprint 4.0 from the backing sheet. What we want to do is push down on the tray until the tray locks in position. We want to load the paper print side up. Press the button on the side of the tray to lock the manual paper tray into position. Now we're ready to send this page through the printer. So let's jump to our computer so we can show you the proper media weight settings for running Technoprint 4.0 through the Laser Imprints Go Uno. Now that I'm in my print preview screen of Corel Draw X5, let's work with the first paper, Nina Technoprint 4.0. I'm going to click on Print Options. Make sure my Go Uno printer is selected. And now I'll click on Preferences to access the driver. You'll notice the paper source might be defaulted as Automatically Select. We want to change that to Multipurpose Tray. Next, we'll go into the Advanced button here. At this point, since I'm running a tabloid size paper, I want to make sure my paper size is set to tabloid. I'm going to turn my media check off so that the printer does not prompt me to press the online button. Now I'll go into the media type. You'll notice the default here is printer setting. But when you access the media weights, you will see that there is a media weight specifically labeled Technoprint. We'll select that media weight, click OK, apply our changes, and now let's print to Technoprint 4.0 paper. The second paper we'll demonstrate is this Nina paper product called Laser One Opaque. This is a single sheet opaquing material so that you can go on to dark cotton garments. But again, the procedure will be similar. As far as loading the sheet, Press down on the tray to lock it in position. Make sure you load the sheet face up into the paper tray. Press the button to elevate the tray into position. And now let's go over to the computer so we can show you the media weight settings to run Laser One Opaque through the Laser Imprints Go Uno printer. Now that we're in our print preview screen of Corel Draw, we're ready to work with our second paper, which is the Nina Laser One Opaque. Again, I'll go into my print options and make sure that the Go Uno printer is selected. I'll go into preferences to access the driver. Make sure you have your paper store selected as multi-purpose tray, then click on the advanced button. Make sure you have your paper size set to tabloid. We'll go down to media type and access the scroll down menu. Here is a media weight designated as Laser Opaque. I want to use this setting to run Nina Laser One Opaque through my printer. I'll click OK, apply the changes, and now let's print to Laser One Opaque.
The third NENA paper that we'll demonstrate is their self-weeding paper for white or light colored garments called Image Clip Laser Light. Now remember when you order this product you are going to get two sets of sheets. A red imaging sheet which physically runs through the printer or copier and a green transfer sheet that applies the emulsion. Remember do not feed this green sheet through your laser printer or copier. You might ruin your device. It's the sheet with the red grid backing that feeds through the printer. So, we'll set the tray, load the sheet in, print side up, push our button to lock the tray into position, and now let's go over to the computer so we can show you the MIDI weight setting to run Image Clip Laser Light. Now that we're back in our print preview screen of Corel Draw, let's work with our third paper, Nina Image Clip Laser Light. Again, I'll go into my print options, make sure my Go Uno printer is selected, then click on preferences to access the driver. Make sure your paper source is the multi-purpose tray. Click on the advanced button, and in this case I'm going to make sure my paper size is set to tabloid. I'll go down to the media type and access the pull down menu. Just like the Technoprint and Laser One Opaque, Image Clip has its own media weight setting. So we will select Image Clip, click OK, apply the changes, and now let's print to Nina Image Clip Laser Light. The fourth paper that we're going to demonstrate is this NINA product called Image Clip for Concert T. Remember, this paper you print a single color image so that you can turn it white to go onto a dark cotton or cotton polyester blend garment. Also, like the other Image Clip papers, you're going to get two sets of sheets. A sheet with a blue grid backing that we'll call the imaging sheet that physically runs through your printer or copier and a sheet with a yellow or orange grid backing called the transfer sheet that applies the white emulsion. Remember, you do not want to feed the transfer sheet through your printer or copier. You might ruin the device. It's this sheet with the blue grid back that feeds through the printer. So again, we'll pop the tray down, load the sheet print side up into our tray, press the button on the side to pop the tray into position, and now let's go over to the computer so I can show you the proper media weight setting to run Image Clip Concert T. Now we're ready to work with our fourth paper, Nina Image Clip Concert T. Remember, with Image Clip Concert T, you only need to print a single color design, which is why I have a different graphic here. But when it comes to the Laser Imprints Go Uno, the song remains the same. We'll go up to our print options, make sure our Go Uno is selected and click on preferences to access the driver. We want to make sure that our paper source is the multi-purpose tray. Let's move down to the advanced button so that we can get to the media weight. Since I'm printing a tabloid sheet, I want to make sure my paper size is selected as tabloid. Again, I'll go into my media type, click on it to access the pull down menu, and again, since this is an image clip product, I'm going to select Image Clip as my media weight. Let's click OK. Apply the changes. And let's print this graphic to Nina Image Clip Concert T paper. The fifth Nina paper product that we'll demonstrate how to run through the Laser Imprints Go Uno is this paper called Image Clip Laser Dark. Like the Image Clip Laser Light and the Image Clip Concert T, this is a two-page self-weeding paper. The purpose is, is to get a design onto a dark garment without having to cut or trim the design. Like the other Image Clip products, you will get two sets of sheets. A sheet with a purple grid backing that is your imaging sheet, which physically feeds through your printer or copier. The second sheet will have a gold grid backing to it. This is the transfer sheet that applies the emulsion. Remember, 
Do not feed this sheet through your printer or copier. You might ruin the device. The sheet you want to feed through is this imaging sheet with the purple grid back. So again, pop our tray in position, load the page in, print side up. Always print side up with the laser and prints Go Uno. Press the button to pop the tray into position. And now let's jump over to the computer so I can show you the proper media weight setting for Image Clip Laser Dark. Now that I'm back in my Corel Draw print preview screen and I've got my color graphic, we can go ahead and print to our fifth paper, which is the Nina Image Clip Laser Dark. Again, I'll go into my print options, make sure my destination printer is my Laser and Prints Go Uno, and I'll click on Preferences to access the driver. Again, we want to make sure our paper source is the multi-purpose tray, and then we'll click on the Advanced button. We'll make sure that we're printing to a tabloid sheet from our paper size, and again, we'll go into the Media Type and make sure that we select Image Clip. So when it comes to Image Clip Laser Light, Image Clip Laser Dark, and Image Clip Concert T, it's all the same media weight, simply called Image Clip. Let's click OK, apply our settings, and now let's print to Nina Image Clip Laser Dark. The sixth and final Nina paper that we'll show you how to run through the Laser Inprints Go Uno is this paper here called Mugs and More. This is a paper to transfer onto coated hard substrates, such as ceramic mugs or ceramic tiles. The one thing you have to be careful with with the mugs and more paper is, there is no marking on the backing sheet to identify itself. The way to identify this paper is, the backing sheet will definitely have a paper back. The imaging side will have a glossy finish to it you want to print to the glossy side of this paper. So we'll go ahead, pop our tray in position, load the mugs and more glossy side up into the Laser and Prints Go Uno. Lock the tray into position and I'll show you the proper media weight to run mugs and more transfer paper through our Laser and Prints Go Uno. Now finally we'll cover the sixth and final paper in the Nina product line, the Nina Mugs and More, the transfer paper to go on the hard substrates. I'm in my print preview screen in Corel Draw, so again, I'll go to print options, make sure my Go Uno printer is selected, click on preferences to access the driver. Remember, we always want to run transfer paper from the multi-purpose tray. We'll click on the advanced button, Make sure our page size is correct, our paper size, which is set at tabloid. And again, from my testing, I have found that the best media weight setting to run the mugs and more is to simply select image clip. We'll go ahead and select it, apply the changes, and now we'll print to the Nina mugs and more paper. Now that I've shown you how to run all of our Nina brand transfer papers through the Laser Imprints Go Uno printer, let me quickly review. When it comes to selecting your media weight, the media weight is designated in the driver. So when it comes to Technoprint 4.0 paper, select Technoprint as your media weight. When it comes to Laser 1 opaque, select Laser Opaque as your media weight. And for the remaining papers, the three image clip papers, the Laser Light, the Laser Dark, and the Concert T, as well as the mug and bore, select image clip as your media weight setting and they should run through the laser imprints Go Uno beautifully. However, if you should have any questions about how to set up your printer to run transfer paper or if you need any additional information, don't hesitate to contact us directly at 1-800-826-6332 or you can visit our website at www.condi.com for more information. Remember to tune in to part three of our video series where we show you how to run Condi brand t-shirt transfer papers through the Laser Imprints Go Uno. Until then, my name's Doug DeWitt, transfer paper product manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up. 
and I thank you for yours.